glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, for tonight's main event. 15 rounds among heavyweights. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. Biggs had this experience so many times, and success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. It's his focus at this moment that delivers it. He's ring walk, just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. All right, let's go. 15 rounds scheduled here in this much-anticipated fight. And we are underway with round number one. Protecting his head well with his guard. Big's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Many may believe that in a matchup like this, power puncher versus power puncher, that he who has more power wins. But in a way, is it as simple as saying he who Watch has that. more fundamentals wins? Yes, absolutely. He who has a missile to get that bomb to the target, he's going to win. Good defense just covering up down low. Way through round number one a good block one of the fastest punches in the game you see how he just turns over that hook and now he brings the left hand upstairs so he decides to go downstairs early on and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Ten clicks of the talk. Big uppercut right on the mark. All right, deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Keep surfing, don't fight his fight. Jab more, jab more, jab more. Keep, keep moving, keep your hands. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Finish with a hook! Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Keep working the body. Good job, buddy. 
See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. There's that right hand he scores with. Big's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Halfway through round number two. Move! Nowhere close that punch by Big. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. Now he ties up there. Big's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Let it go! That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Big's nice left, nice working work. well that time. And that round comes to an end. And you know, I've turned to you many times throughout our careers broadcasting together and said, why is this guy not throwing punches? I just don't get it, Teddy. Well, there's two reasons usually. One is he's not in shape. In his case, I think he's in shape. He doesn't want to throw. I know that boggles your mind, too. What do you mean he doesn't want to throw? You think it to yourself. He's a fighter. He's in the ring. He knows that he has to throw punches. But if he throws punches, he also has to put himself in a position where the guy's going to throw back. That means he has to take more chances. And some guys would rather not take those chances. And round number three is underway. Gets rid of that effort. <laughs> Downstairs with a right hand. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Oh, keep your feet moving. That's it, just like that. Teddy, among the things that we're going to key in on here early on in this fight is the ability to go to the body. Very important, because what it does is it stops the ability of your opponent to defend the headshots. Takes away some of that head movement. Oh, he shook him up with that right hand. Good work. Look at that. That's a heck of a stunner right there. Down he goes. <laughs> Somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Double up on your punches. And oh, what a good, strong uppercut by Big. A well-placed overhand right. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Good combination to the body. And we come to the end okay. of the round. Okay, relax now. How are you feeling in there? Just stay alert in there. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots, you understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. Listen, you're not working. You're not working. You're not working. Big's enjoying a big lead here, up three to zip on Teddy's scorecard, but even more important than that, he's already gotten to his man.
Yeah, he's hurt him in the body, and once he hurt him in the body, he flows upstairs, was able to go there. You got this one. Good way to protect the midsection. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving. Big keep smashed keep up moving. top. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? How about that left right? Big, big shot he just scored with. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Halfway through round number four. Able to land the hook to the head. Well timed by Big. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Jump on him. Nice. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Piercing jab. Oh, you're doing great. <laughs> Unable to score with the hook. And that's the end of round four. Listen, he's a veteran guy. He knows the truth of the situation. That's a really bad cut. The kind of cut that can end the fight. Yeah, he has a gamble right now. You know, just got a little last call in the casino. They just said, you know, you got three more rolls of the dice. He's got to roll them. He's got to blow on them. He's got to do everything. Nice work. Nice work. Don't get too close to him. Don't get too close, all right? I need you to move more. Just keep moving. You hit him really good in that round. A couple of times. Really good. Keep on. As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope for him? He's look, been knocked down numerous times. Look, there's been great comebacks in this sport. There's always hope. You don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul, inside their mind. But dangerous grounds now to find out. One, two. One, two. A solid true uppercut by Big. Up top with the right hand. He scores with the jab there. You know, Joe, a lot of times you think about a jab being used by... He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Tying up again here after being knocked down. What should his opponent be doing to deal with this? See, that's the right question. We're just looking at the you guy grabbing. His opponent is allowing him to grab. You know, it takes two to tangle to do that dance. His opponent should be taking a step back, not letting him grab, and keeping his hands moving. Head and body! Head and body! <laughs> Targets his opponent after blocking a shot. Ten seconds of this fifth round. Oh, the stage. Just, just, just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it, it now, all right? It's, it's nice work.
All right, listen. You need to create more punches, okay? Slip this punch and throw a straight right down the middle. Okay, okay. Relax. Relax. Take a deep breath. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the medal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. It's okay. Hey, you back. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Big. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you gotta wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they gonna stop this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's over. This fight is over. Biggs bombs away, worked again. Knockout victory for him. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.